looked at my window, uh, I, I saw then this buildings, all the buildings, all the homes, just pancaking down, one on top of the other, on top of the other. And as I looked in the rear view mirror, I could see buildings, the ripple effect. They were just going down, 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 and great clouds of dust and, and, and smoke. And then, of course, great crowds of, of people uh, coming from everywhere, choking and bleeding and crying and, and panicked and confused. And uh, it was a horrible scene. It was a, a, an absolutely horrible scene. I gotta tell you, the, the, the human drama which is occurring here on every single street is extraordinary. No matter what street you go down in this area, there is someone trying to be rescued. There are flattened buildings with small groups of neighbors and family literally digging through the rubble, digging through concrete with their hands, with their fingers. Uh, occasionally you see a shovel or a pickaxe or a chisel. It is slow, laborious work. It is a, a somber sight here. And people are just kind of milling around. They don't have anywhere to go. The homes are destroyed. Uh, some of them have just been sleeping out on the streets or in, in open fields under tents. Um, I talked to one man who, you know, said he's just walking around. He doesn't know what else to do. He doesn't have water. He's not sure where to go um, or, or what happens now. It's not only a matter about urban context, it's the total area of Bangladesh. You are one of the biggest like delta in, um, in Asia. What you are facing is not only like the earthquake, that the fact that you are in those three platforms between Myanmar and as well like the Himalaya platform and the one of the Bengal, but you have as well like four of the main points actually of tsunami. So you are facing two types of risk, one coming from the sea and as well the one coming of the different plots that you are having. Now, according to Bwet last year, 43% actually of Bangladesh is at high risk. If we are taking just basic data from 2006 to 2009, you got 86 earthquakes that occurred within three years. Those were not really like touchy because it was just above four points or four to five. But you have to look at again, Bangladesh in the past faced a lot of earthquakes and, and that was not reported well. But in the 70s, in the 80s, we got the Shitagong uh, earthquake that damaged a lot, like all of the Shitagong area. Bokra got a lot of like as well earthquake. Those was magnitude 7.8. 7.8. If you know exactly what are the possible safety measures when a disaster is coming, then it minimizes the risk and vulnerability. Do you folks have any idea what you will be doing after when you are in campus? प्रब्लेम <laughs> प्रथम चेष्टा कर बहरे जावर एकदम सीढ़ी दिए नेमे चेष्टा कर बहरे जावर जो ना पारि दें अबियलि टेबिले नीचे ढुको जैगा Welcome to the University of Liberal Arts Bangladesh. You can call us ULAP Sustainable Development Club, in short SD Club. We are working with Institute for Sustainable Development and these folks are work sorting out what to do in earthquake when we are in campus. Let's start with the places you should stay away during earthquake. When we are in campus building, 
Remember, earthquake experts are saying that rushing towards stairs during earthquake might be dangerous. During an earthquake, you have to stay away from any glass window. In classroom, you should also stay away from glass partition as they can collapse when the intensity is very high. Try to avoid staying at the center of a room. If an electric fan is rotating, stay away from it. Also stay away from other hanging stuff from the roof. Remember, during earthquake, do not use lift. Using lift in earthquake is extremely risky. If you are outside around campus, please avoid staying closer to tree, electric wire, foot over bridge and high rise buildings, of course. Now we are telling what are the safety measures during an earthquake. If you are in class and earthquake comes, take shelter under the building beam and go closer to the building column. Safest place would be the junction of a beam and column. If you feel earthquake, someone needs to switch off all electric buttons. If we are in auditorium, spread the gathering and go to the different corner of the hall. There you will find columns to protect you. If you are a professional working at your private place, please immediately go under a strong table. The formula is drop, cover and hold until everything gets normal. But stay away from heavy furniture like bookshelf and alveolar. While using stove and heater, immediately turn it off. Once again, it will minimize any fire danger. Among those many safety tips, during an earthquake, the most important thing you have to remember is to calm down. Hello, earthquake! When the earthquake is over, slowly come out of classroom and follow the stairs. Remember, always use left corner of stairs. It gets more support from beam than the right. After earthquake, we must check if someone gets injured or locked in. If you are locked in, you try to hit some heavy surface so that sound travels at a long distance. If you are screaming, you will get tired. Work normally and come out of your campus building. Go to a more open place. Stay calm and wait. After an earthquake, there can be an after effect that is a second earthquake. We do not know exactly when it can hit us. Hopefully never, but the safest strategy is to go out of building right after the earthquake stops. So, during earthquake, we need to stay calm, take shelter and then get out of building. It is also important to remember that apart from earthquake, fire safety can be another challenge in our urban life.